A police officer has been shot dead at a custody centre in Croydon in South London by a man who was being detained. It's thought the suspect was searched at the custody centre before producing a weapon and firing it at an officer. It's understood he then turned the gun on himself. The officer, who has not yet been identified, was treated at the scene but later died in hospital of gunshot wounds. The 23-year-old suspect is in a critical condition. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanford reports. Investigating the murder of one of their own colleagues, forensics officers poring over the scene at Croydon Custody Centre in South London. It appears that a suspect was brought into the centre in a police vehicle at around quarter past two in the morning and then shot the custody sergeant in the chest before shooting himself. The officer, who was only a few weeks from retirement, died in St George's Hospital in Tooting. He's not yet been named, as his family overseas are still being contacted. We are all deeply shocked and very sad. The Met is a family. Policing is a family in London and across the United Kingdom. And today, we police are all mourning a great loss. As well as investigating the murder, the Metropolitan Police has referred the case to the Independent Office for Police Conduct. There's deep concern that a suspect under arrest in a police vehicle was able to bring a loaded gun into a police station. This is a sad day for our country as once again we see the tragic killing of a police officer in the line of duty as they are trying to protect us and keep us safe. Later on today, I'll be meeting with the Metropolitan Police Commissioner to discuss the investigation that is currently taking place. And of course, the Metropolitan Police Service now needs the time and the space to get on with the inquiry that now needs to follow. The